Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. Um, it is Saturday. It is 12.05. Um, I'm home alone. Well, actually, let me tell you what's going on. Jason and his dad and my son are at the ranch. They're getting everything ready for deer season. Um, they're just doing some work out there. That, um, my daughter, my daughter, of course, is at work. I am on my way to go pick up my mother-in-law. She's going to join me today. Not really much going on today. It's just going to go and hang out with my mother-in-law, get her out of the house. I'm going to go have lunch with her. We're going to pick her up. We're going to go have lunch. Um, I I don't need to, but she did mention yesterday that she wanted to go to Bath & Body Works because of a coupon. I also have a coupon, so why not? 20% off. I do need to go to HEB again. That's because yesterday I vlogged. I went to HEB as well, and I, I never dawned on me to get these three items I just need to run in there really quick and just grab these three items that um, I am gonna make my enchiladas today for dinner I don't know if I mentioned it in yesterday's video but a few um, videos back I think I did a grocery haul and I went over my meal plan with you guys and I mentioned on there that I was gonna make enchiladas and I was gonna share that with you guys I missed an ingredient in my grocery haul I it just completely forgot about it so I was like nah I'll just go tomorrow back to H-E-B and pick it up no I could not find it so I was like hmm neither sold out so I went to a local grocery store they didn't have it either like it, no matter where I went like Target Walmart wherever I was like it was in my head to just go look for that ingredient and I could not find it nowhere nowhere so I was like well maybe I'll just buy it online no it wasn't available it they didn't know when it would become available again. A local Facebook group that I follow here in my area, they were even mentioning that they couldn't find that ingredient. It was like, what the hell? Is everybody freaking making enchiladas? Well, it went like that for like a month. I don't know, a month and a half. I finally found the ingredient and I took the last two packets. So I grabbed them. Now I have them. And I'm going to make that tonight. I think I'm just going to throw it into this vlog. I'm not going to make a separate video on it. It's not much to it. It's a very popular recipe. It seems like everybody makes this makes it this way. But from what who I know and I know. So let's go. My mother-in-law is waiting for me. <laughs> All right, guys, so it's around 2.40 in the afternoon. <laughs> We've already ate. We had lunch. We went to go eat lunch at Texas Roadhouse. And we're just leaving Bath & Body Works. Um, I'll show you guys what I got when I got home, when I get home. So right now, I'm going to go to pick up an iced coffee because I need some coffee. And then, where did you want to go next? Mm, just to buy those things. The, or um, is there a clothing store? Or? I want to go to a clothing store. Okay, just go to a clothing store. Not that I need anything. I'm gonna. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I'm. I need to find little Jason. Um, he wants another um, hoodie. I can look, see what I find him. He hasn't been picky lately. Mm. All right. Well, so we're gonna decide where we're gonna go next. As far as like. A store like a shopping store but first we're gonna go to Starbucks Careful, there's a car. see I think he's waiting for me to get out to get out yeah. all right hey guys so um, it's already 439 and I feel like I haven't vlogged enough for you guys like I mentioned before I will not vlog inside the stores there's just so many people and my mother-in-law wanted to go home already so I just dropped her off I'm picking up Alyssa I've been wanting Starbucks and every time I pass by a Starbucks, I wouldn't pass by it, but it was like out of the way and you could just see the signs. I wasn't gonna detour myself around just to get to Starbucks. So I'm finally gonna go and get my Starbucks. How was work? Good. Yeah. So I'm just gonna run to Starbucks, CVS. I need to get down at HEB really quick. I can get down, mm -hmm. I can get down real quick. I just know what I need. And then I'm going to come back and then the vlog will continue from when I come back home. Okay, so I am finally, finally home. 
let's see what time it is. It is now 5.50, and this is what I have. Let's see here. Oh, can you go get my iced coffee from the car? Please, thank you. Yes, it should be. Well, this one's been having a good time drinking. How was the ranch? Tiring, very tiring. We got our work done. Let me show you what I got. This is in my bag. So, of course, I bought what I was gonna buy at HEB, which was just salad mix. Um, oh. Salad mix, and then the stuff for the enchiladas, basically, that's what I bought. I bought me some wine. I bought me two bottles of wine. Well, I don't. So, because I like the Roscado red wine, I thought maybe this one would be good. So, I bought that. I bought two bottles. Here's the other bottle. So, I had a, a coupon at Bath & Body Works for 20% off. So, they had all, like, the hand soaps, six, well, six for 24. I ended up paying 22 bucks. That's all I got. I was so tempted to grab a candle, because it was buy one, get one free, but... Me duele. It hurts to pay $24.50 for a candle. So maybe when they go on sale. But I did buy this one. This one's called Crisp Morning Air. This is the hand soap. I bought four of those. And then I grabbed two of these, which is the Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin. And the reason why I got this, guys, is because it matches my decor in my kitchen. Oh, my goodness. Ew, why is it all gooey over here now? Okay. So, I bought this because it matches my decor, guys. So, there it is. There it goes. I'm going to put it there. That was what I got. And then I, I had a coupon for the purchase. With no purchase necessary, you get something free. This one's called Ginger Ham by Bath & Body Works. It's... it's this smells really good, like really, really good. Body it's a body bath? spray. Oh, it smells really pretty. This one, you see it? Oh, it smells nice. I went to Ross. My mother-in-law wanted to go to Ross. Because we're in that shopping area. So I picked up a, not really. All I really picked up, all I picked up was this. I found me a new coffee cup. This one says brilliant on it, and it's a Kate Spade cup. So it's actually thinner than my coffee cup that I use for work. Um, I went to show my mother-in-law the store, the store at home, and look what I bought you, Jason. Look, Dad. You. I bought this for your office. So my husband's a huge Star Wars fan, guys. So I bought him this. For his office. And they only had one. So I had to get it. <laughs> cool. He's cool looking. I think the red is what caught my eye. So you see how he has Star Wars? He has that. That. And then he has this. You see that? So. What else did I get? Oh. Since it was planned for me to drink some wine today, I had it planned. I bought me some wine glasses at, at home. I bought these. Well, they were in the wine section. They had all the wine glasses. Yeah. It says, I don't know, it says wash in cold water. But see, it's pretty. So, I bought two of those. Okay. So, I did invest in buy in a candle. This price seemed a little bit more reasonable to me. It was $5. It says, hey there, pumpkin. Pumpkin spice. And that was it. That was all I got. It was a great day today. So I'm gonna change my clothes. I'm gonna put away my stuff. And I'm gonna make some dinner. I'm gonna make some enchiladas, guys, so. All right, so here we're gonna make some enchiladas. Yes, I know it's a later, a week later. So here I have one pan. I'm gonna add one pound of ground beef, 
to my hot skillet. So, and then I have this plate right here. You're gonna wanna grab a pound of American cheese. I ended up using just a little bit for something else I made. But this is gonna work. So I'm gonna go ahead and shred it. For my meat browns up. So here's my pound, well, a little less than a pound of American cheese shredded. So I added garlic powder, a little bit of garlic powder, like, like just like a pinch, and then some onion powder and a little bit of salt and then pepper. So I'm going to go ahead and drain the grease. And then to our ground beef, we are going to add a can of Wolf Brand Chili, no beans. Okay. Just go ahead and mix that. So it should look something like this. Alright, so we're going to put that to the side. And now we're going to grab another pan. We're going to put it on the heat. We're going to grab some vegetable oil. And this is where we're gonna warm up our corn tortillas to roll. And grab a plate. Grab some paper towels. We're just gonna let this heat up. And I'm gonna be using white tortillas for this. I'm gonna dip them in oil, in the hot oil. That way they're easier to roll. And honestly, I wouldn't know how much this is gonna make because I just warm up all of the, I just warm up the tortillas like this. And I always like to have more than enough. And then just as our however much I end up using, you know, there's never a really precise amount. Now I'm gonna turn on my oven to 350 degrees. I'm gonna pre to grab another pot just like that and to this I will be adding two packages of McCormick enchilada sauce you can use one you can use two but I like to have extra sauce so you're gonna you're gonna put this in here according to package directions so here's one then here's two Grab a whisk. And now we're gonna grab one of these. This is tomato sauce, but this one is seasoned with spices. And now you're gonna grab another can of Wolf Brand Chili, no beans. All right, so once it starts to get to like a slow boil, this is gonna work for us, and that it'll start to burn. So we're gonna turn it off the heat. And we're gonna move over here. So here I have a foil lined baking sheet. Yes, a baking sheet. I'm gonna start assembling it and I'm gonna show you how I do it. Okay, so here's our foil line baking sheet. Let's grab some of that sauce. And we're gonna pour some here on the baking sheet. So now we're gonna grab our tortillas. Grab a spoon. I like to use maybe this size. What is it? Tablespoon? Tablespoon. Probably about a teaspoon, tablespoon. Just like that. We're going to add it in here. 
Don't make them too fat because then they'll be hard to roll. And then we're going to put just a little bit of cheese. And then we are oh, it's so hot. And we're just going to roll it. Just like that. Okay, so this is how they look once I finished rolling them. It was just enough. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this sauce. I'm going to pour it on here. Like this. Every inch of it to be coated. Okay. All right, so now once you've coated it with the sauce, we're going to add our cheese. All right guys, so now I'm gonna stick it into a preheated 350 degree oven just into the cheese melt, which should take about eight to nine minutes. All right guys, so here are my enchiladas. This is how they come out. That's why I do have sauce on reserve. That way if it did dry up a little bit in the oven, you can always have extra sauce. So this is it. We're gonna sit down and enjoy this and Thank you guys for hanging out with me. I know I ended up doing this. Literally, it's like two weeks later. But um, I get I got distracted last time when I was doing this vlog. So I went ahead and added it to the end of the vlog. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys give it a try. See you later.